The mission of human performance optimization uh, is to maintain and optimize the human weapon system that is tactical air control part. The intent, the, the mission overall, is to preserve, maintain, and optimize that human being to ensure that we can still employ that weapon system and bring that power to bear for the Air Force and for the Joint Force. Make adjustments. So in order to be a, a, a tactical athlete, you really have to be good at everything. You need to be strong, you need to be uh, fast, you need to have agility. So when I got here, we did a mission analysis on what does a tactical athlete actually need to accomplish a mission? And one of the determining factors we found was work capacity. Because when you're out deployed, uh, you're gonna need to do a tremendous amount of work, and you may need to be able to do it fast, and you need to be able to do it long periods of time. Uh, one of the workouts here that we do, it's on Fridays, Fridays are the best, um, is a seven to eight uh, exercise circuit uh, where you're go, 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 rest a little bit, go, 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 rest a little and uh, there's a certain standard for each exercise. And uh, if you don't meet that standard, you gotta raise your hand, integrity first, and uh, the coaches will count up how many people didn't meet that throughout the entire workout. And you're going over and over and over again, so that thing keeps adding up, adding up. And uh, at the end, if you let your team down on certain workouts, you gotta pay up. Do this is that I was working with college athletes previously and some of the coaches think it's, it's life or death situations there, where it's really not. Ultimately, we're not sending them out to combat. TACPs are going into combat. I was in combat, I understood the skills that I had and how important fitness was to me during combat, and I wanna make sure that these guys can potentially save their own lives with their fitness level and then the lives of those around them.